I got to stop trying to like almost blind myself from this laser. Today we're taking a look at Dovo's high visibility outdoor laser level. Dovo made this a brighter laser so you have a easier time outdoors when you need a laser level. This is gonna make it so much easier for outdoor use for you. And the building construction of this is top notch. It is solid. It, I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna show you in a minute. Plus, if you wanna see other videos of Dovo, I did a laser level from them a while back. Check it out. It's a great other laser level that they offer. This one's more of a rugged construction, higher build quality, and you're gonna pay a little bit more for it, which is fine because you're getting more. Dovo goes from the soft case. Now with this, you're going to get a hard shell case, which I think is great, especially if you're gonna be using this outdoors. So we're gonna open this up and it's going to be a padded case on the inside. You're gonna have your foam. One of the things that I noticed right away is they give you some green goggles, which is awesome. You know, it's gonna help you see that line uh, outdoors. And it's cool, it's something, it's sim something simple. And I think I look cool with them, what do you think? It's gonna be the basic stuff that you'd get with the Dovo uh, laser level when you order their lasers. You're gonna get your laser target that you have, and you are going to get the charging base. You're gonna get two batteries. Now, they have the same setup as the other uh, battery system for Dovo, which they haven't changed. I would, especially outdoors, you're gonna be outdoors, this is gonna be sitting, charging on something, and the batteries easily fall out. That's that's one of my biggest complaints with, the, with Dovo with their batteries. I, I wish they were like the Sony batteries that kind of, they, they actually clip in and the charger holds the battery. So if this gets knocked over accidentally or something, it's not that big of a deal. And especially if you're gonna be using this laser level outdoors, upgrade the battery charger to something that is, uh, you know, IP rated, that it can handle outdoor use because you're gonna be charging this out, outdoors mainly or like in a truck or something. But anyways, you get the cord. I wish it was a braided cord. You know, I, I go over that in a lot of my stuff. If you're gonna sell construction equipment, uh, give a braided cord, don't give a cheap cord like this. I'm telling the, the bads because I want Dovo to improve this so they can make it a higher, a little bit more higher quality for a great price. And this is what I love. This is the, one of the big things I love about Dovo is their mounting bracket. This is a great mounting bracket. You can mount this to a tripod. You can, uh, has a magnetic, oh, how do I open this? There we go. It's because the magnet's so strong. Once it locks in, it's really hard to pull off. But, so you can mount this to metal, um, you know, so we can mount the laser. You have your tripod, um, and we can mount this to a, if we wanna put a screw in a wall, just mount it to like a two by four, we can do that easily. Mount this to drop ceiling, got your grip for that. Now for the outdoor use, because a lot of people are gonna be using like transit tripods. So Dovo gives this with their mounting bracket, they give the screw in to mount this to a transit tripod, which is awesome. And then we go over to the laser. It's a heavy laser and the build quality is great. It's like you you could, you could almost like, I know it's a laser, but like you almost just wanna like throw it and see if it breaks, kind of like, you know, fling it around. But it has on every like little edge, it has a rubber coating and the rubber coating is um, like, it, it's solid. Like even the plastic, the build quality of this plastic is really good. First, we have to install the battery. Now, the battery can easily be installed on here, and then we can put it in. Now, one of the things I didn't like about the battery system with this is we put this on, we put it on a tripod, and once the battery is almost dead, we have to take this off the tripod to change out the battery. But Dovo kind of got around that. So if we have the battery in and they give you a nice seal, look at that seal. It's very like coated. And then there, on, even on the battery lid, there is a rubber 
piece of rubber that like when it snaps in, it's like solid. You know, I feel like I can throw this thing in a bucket of water and it's gonna, it's not gonna leak. <laughs> but so what Dovo did is they have it so you can hook up the USB and you can hook this to a, like a battery source like uh, my little climb power source and you can have that thing charge in the battery and you can have it running the laser level all at once. It's not that big of a deal that the battery is at the bottom, but I would like to see, you know, it's for someone who doesn't have an outsourced battery for a, a unit like this, it's it could be a uh, problem. We're gonna turn this thing on and turn it on. We just, we got, got to unlock it and it's gonna beep at you. And notice right away with um, having the green glasses on the, laser is pretty bright and even taking it off while wow, that after having the green goggles on for a while and then taking it off everything in this room is like red my eyes are still adjusting but even taking this off and as you can see on here look, just look at how bright this laser is it's pretty good now let me let me grab i have the other dovo laser here and let's grab it and let's compare like the brightness right here and see the difference we have. Okay, so we have the other Dovo laser and as we put it right next to, right next to it, let's put it, look at that. You can see it's night and day. Look at how faint, you know, it's, it's, it's still very visible in the daylight, but like, look at how much fainter it is compared to the 110 uh, diodes with this. That's insane. Just, it's, look at this. This one, I think, is a 30 uh, MW diode. I can't remember. I think that's what they mainly use. Like, a lot of the laser uh, companies use for their brightness of their laser. Just the difference of it, that is like insane. Insane, and I gotta stop trying to like almost blind myself from this laser. You got your 360 degrees here of your laser. You, you got your vertical, you got your horizontal. So you got three different lasers going vertical, horizontal. So we can do the same thing. We can lock this and we can have it so it pulses every every once in a while, just so it kind of saves battery life. But let's turn this off because what Dovo told me to do is, they're like, hey, take it apart. See what the inside looks like. You think that like, just because it's a little bit cheaper price, the build quality is gonna be shoddy, but that's not the case here. So we're gonna take this off. And if you ever do this, just watch because the, glass I don't know if it's glass it, yeah I think it's glass it comes out and look at I don't know if you can see that uh, look at how thick that is it, this has some weight to the glass and then you have the housing and this housing is very rugged like it is built very well and it also has a gasket on the inside too so we can it's going to keep the water out and then they also put another gasket it's like gasket upon gasket which is great they put a gasket on this and then the inside like you can i don't know if you can see down in there let's see if you can see down in there just like the build quality looks amazing. Like, it looks like the inside has a aluminum, like housing that everything sits nicely into. And, you know, I, I wanna take off the bottom, but I gotta take off everything else. And then I don't have a small enough screwdriver to get down 
into the bottom. That might be for another video. Let me know in the comments if you want me to take this apart, like fully apart later on, um, or give a like on the video and maybe I'll just do a quick video of just taking it off later on. Everything I touch is grippy and it, like you can't push, like even this one you can't, the, the K4 you can't push because it has the feet, but if I put it on the side, I can slide it around the table. I can easily slide it. I push this, like it, it's gripping like on everything. Like you got the, you got these rubber, the rubber on the side, just gripping everything. I probably shouldn't be pushing it around without the, the lens back on. So I'm gonna put this back on. How did I have this? All right, we're gonna fast forward, and then we're gonna take this outside, and we're gonna we're gonna set it on the ground. We're gonna we're gonna just see how far we can see in this uh, with this laser outside. I'm sorry if I have this all jammed up or kind of messed up. So it's yelling at me because I have this way on level. Yes, I know. There we go. So that's what it does too. Like if you don't have it level, it's gonna yell at you. So let's see where we got. We gotta put the, let's put our vertical. So we have our vertical going right here. And I really cannot, I really can't see it too well, but let's see how it is if I put the glasses on. I can't see it. I cannot see it. So like if we have this on the ground, you can sort of see it. You can sort of see the line right there. Now, if I put the glasses on, I can probably see it about another foot further. So I really don't know how accurate this is gonna be outside. Even with these things on, it just, it's a lot, a lot of, I don't know, Dovo. I don't know about the uh, whole outdoor laser um, experience. And I think in certain areas, like if we have it, we have it like on the blacktop here and we have to shoot something, I think that's actually gonna be pretty good. Here, let's just set it on there and see if that helps. Let's see, we gotta turn all, we gotta turn everything on, but even, outside in the daylight you can sort of sort of see it right there but I, you just can't Out, outdoor outdoor laser that's it's rugged i'll give you that it's a rugged condition but i don't know if this is gonna hold up to actually being used outdoors and as you can see it's getting pretty bright out here i got the sun blasting over the top um let me know what you guys think. If this uh, laser level is going to be good for outdoors, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with you know probably no. If it was a really overcast day, and uh, if you're using it in a little darker area, yeah, you could use it. But this is going to be more of an indoor rugged uh, laser, which it works awesome inside. It's very bright. If you want to, if you're looking for a laser and you want to go with a higher brightness, uh, go with this one. Um, and it's a little bit more rugged and it comes with a uh, hard case which I like that but all in all um, I'm gonna say not very good outside so let me know what you guys think uh, I'm Philip Bridges thanks Stovo for sending this out um, sorry that I didn't didn't stand can't stand by too much about the whole outdoor laser level I think it's great all around except for the outdoor part <laughs> So like and subscribe. I will see you guys on the next one. I am Philip Bridges and peace out.